Hey, welcome back to Dutch Ship Builds. My name is Jerome. Uh, this is an episode about the engine. Uh, it's the first part of two. This first part's all about the disassembly and the uh, paint I did on the engine. Um, gives you a nice view inside an engine you like this. If you've never seen it with all the gears and stuff, could be interesting uh, to see. And also uh, the paint job I did. So this is part one. Part two will follow shortly. I hope uh, enjoy the video please go to instagram if you want to see more day-to-day -day updates and well enjoy the video So having footage like this uh, was when I was uh, disassembling the engine really helped out later when I had to reassemble the engine. Uh, it was a good reference to see where everything goes. Um, so it really helps out not just to show you on a video like this, but also for yourself to see, uh, oh, where does this go? Where does that go? Uh, so a good tip is to film or take pictures as much as you can. Uh, really helps out. Well, I've been using my uh, sandblaster again and it works really well. And I got my replacement valve cover with the other one uh, broken up there. So I quickly sandblasted it and it looks uh, really nice. Still worried about getting these uh, end caps off, but uh, I just have to leave them. The top part came with it, which is blasted and looks nice. I did those in the sandblaster. Now this one, so they're nice and smooth, but this one's got a uh, piece of damage on it. So I'll just have to sand that away. I blasted this one, and it came out really nice. This is all scruffy and nasty, and it's nice and smooth now. And so did I uh, sort of sit on their heads, so they're all ready for paint. So this is the uh, engine paint, which is like a greyish, and it's a uh, high temp, as you can see.
this aluminium box I have. So I'm gonna drill a hole in there where I can put my torch in and then uh, put this on the other end like like so-ish so the heat will go in here will be deflected by this piece of steel to keep the flames from getting there and I could put the uh, materials in here um, I think that'll work maybe I need to make a little chimney but because it smokes So I've got my gas hooked up to the burner. I got the uh, deflector mounted and that is a temperature sensor. So let's give us a trial run. I don't know if you can see it, but it's saying 150 Celsius by now. Made some extra vents because the flame was dying, but it's uh, working now. Safe is different, but at least I don't ruin my own oven. So approaching 160 now, so I'm gonna get some parts. So it's one 176 Celsius. And the other one is now 210. So I guess the fan worked. All right, let's see. Oh, right. That's a surprise. Look at that. Guess it got a bit hotter than I thought. And somehow the sitting on the walls dropped down. So uh, I'll tap that back in. Hi, welcome back to uh, Jerome. No. Back to join.